Here I will show you how the machine uh, undercut uh, by using a special tool uh, on a PX. And this is the tool. The process that you need to use, you will be just click on the process procedure. And the procedure it will be the logo operations and the logo 3x. Tolerance of point zero is okay. Next I'll click on access to configure the parameters. So the first thing that we need to uh, decide is what kind of pattern that we're going to use. So I'm going to use a parallel cut and uh, consume Z for the level cutting. And this icon here, you click to select your uh, cutting surface. Uh, that's the dry surface. I already put the, this uh, cutting surface into a set called U3 dry surface. So what I need to do is just to right click and select the big bike back here. And I will choose the by dry surface. And we will select all the accumulated cutting surface. And next, a cutting area. So we can have a tool cut everything. In this case, I just want to cut uh, from one point to one point. So I will leave by two points, so I'm going to set a point that this is the top point, this is the bottom point. Click here to set the top point. Uh, I want to machine from this point, press middle button when you have done, to this point. Just click here to select the bottom point and click OK. Uh, I'm going to choose one way and I'm uh, using the front directions. Up a start point, yes, I'm going to start point and maybe I will start uh, here. Uh, I will ask the cartoon to start somewhere at this end point here. Okay. And the pitching I will use point one. Two axis, two axis, down check. It's good to own the down check uh, for the report collisions. And make sure you uh, select the option here. And uh, for the checking, if you still can uh, have an option to uh, play with here, I don't use the default one. And what happens is if there's a, a collision, it will show you uh, where's the collision. Sometimes uh, you might have it. So it's important to have this. GX local functions and link. Okay, so the first entry I say approach my students and last entry we check the students and I'm going to use the leading and read that out. Cut uh, along. Um, this is not important for this, so I can use if this is okay. And uh, the most important is for this one is the between slides, the connection between slides. So in this case, I you have option to separate the small and large move. So in this case, I want the small and large move to tangent in and tangent out. So I just change this to steps and large move also steps. Okay, and use the in and out. Usually, uh, and my link, default link, link, link out, you can set here. You have a lot of options over here. Of course, uh, the first one I think the best is the horizontal tangent up, and then I'll up until 45 degrees, and uh, under the time of the other diameter. I think it should be enough, so you can copy the same parameter to the link up also. And from here, uh, one more clearance. This is the clearance. Yeah, so I'm, I'm choosing a play, right? And my clearer I set at uh, 50. And how about distance? Uh, this is approach. Yeah, so I set my approach to one mm bracket. Uh, five. I need 
should be obtained and this can should be obtained. That's it. That's okay. And calculate. And here's the two part. The first thing uh, you can always uh, select this position and just look at the execution log and no creation is detected and then these two parts are good. If you see some creation is detected, you need to do something. And I'll show you the dimensions on this. This is how the cutter will move. We will tension in and tension out. And cut by a lot of level. And let me see what the point here. Here. And let's go to the first view. And you can see the cutter is exactly touching the bottom. 